Hi everyone, my name is Gregory Scott and thank you for joining me today. This is another ASMR relaxation video and as you can see I'm going to play a game with you today and this is a game that I recently discovered on my iPad and it's called Hearthstone. And this is a really relaxing and very time consuming game. And the basic premise is that you have a deck of cards, you play against a real opponent in real time, and you try and defeat that opponent with your deck of cards. Now, I must warn you, but by joining me in this video, you are entering into definite nerd territory with me today. Um, this is definitely one of those games that qualifies as um, a kind of geek pastime. And I'm okay with that. I found that I could play this in bed when I couldn't sleep and it would occupy me like nothing else, so. This is along the lines of uh, Dungeons and Dragons was in the 1980s, and um, the card game that came about in the 1990s, Magic the Gathering, and this is a similar premise. It's um, having a deck of cards and playing against an opponent who also has a deck of cards. You'll get the hang of this really quickly once you see me playing this. So, um, yeah, it's the same kind of game, but they've taken the cards and, and shaped them into an online game. So, what's happening now is that the game is finding an opponent to play against. And uh, let's see if can find someone and as you can see there at the bottom complete quests to earn gold gold can be used to buy packs so you can upgrade your equipment and advance so I think you're starting to get the picture about what I meant before and you can see that each of these cards has a number and this is what the card costs now, at the beginning of the game, I only have very few crystals, so I'm looking for cheap cards that I can use, like these ones. So that's good. So there's my opponent, and he's already brought out a little monster that is taunting me there. So I need to come up with my own version and I am going to use this card to get an extra crystal. So now I've got two crystals and I can use that to bring out my little my little gnome there, my knife juggling gnome. So now I've used my crystals and that's the end of my turn. And there's a nice blue eye appearing there. And now I wait for the opponent to make his move and the point is to use all my cards and abilities to reduce that number to zero. So that's what he's just done. He's attacked me and reduced my health. So what can I do? I can bring out this card and they all make nice little noises and comments. And because it's the first time I brought it out, he's sleeping. He'll become activated in the next turn. There you see, so I got rid of his little blue Aladdin ghost type of thing. And I've still got my two little oddball characters running around. So it's not that complicated, really. It's basically using the cards in a combination so that I can beat the other person. All 
you have to do is let your mind slow down and the tension melt away and just let go of any worries that you may have. You know, games like this are time that no one would say is constructive or useful but what it is useful in is having this time for yourself not needing to perform in any way not having to do something that's serious or stressful but just having some time for you to just relax to nurture yourself by listening to these funny little meaningless characters and just by having a good time looking at the nice bright colors and starting to relax so my opponent is getting a little bit forceful now and is bringing out lots of different characters What I'm going to do is play this card, or let me look at my cards, what I have, and what I can use. What I'll do is give my main character extra strength and attack so he doesn't die so quickly. Just give him a bit of a longer life. The other fun thing is that you can play with the props while you're waiting. So if I tap on that, the gate closes. And sometimes it's these waiting times that are really peaceful and just kind of meditative almost. Oh, so he's trying to get rid of my little berserker there, which isn't so nice. Who do you think will win? Do you think this character who I'm playing is going to win? Or do you think he will win? He looks more intimidating than you think. I think he does. I think I look quite... Well, <laughs> I look like a, like a heavily armoured football player, but still. So, when someone dies, return it to health. That's one thing I could do. Yes, let me do that. So in case my little person dies, I can bring him back to life there. Oh, and yes, let's do that. Let's bring out another character. And I'm not going to bother to attack him this time because it would just reduce my health and not do anything to him. So I'll let him do some of the work. Oh, that looks unpleasant. That looks like It from Stephen King. Um, what was that? Yeah, Stephen King's It. It looks like the evil clown that lives in the, in the sewage system. So that's not very soothing. But really... Ah, oh, there you go. So my character died. But because I played a secret, he's come back to life. So <gasps> I'm safe. So now what I can do is I can deal two damage to all enemies. But what I think I'll do is do that. And then that. And then start to attack the main player so that I can get his points down. I can start to win this game. So, another kind of fun feature is the Zeppelin here, which I can... Oh, it looks like it's got an eye. 
Oh wow, what just happened there? Oh, I think that was kind of a black hole there that he used to just suck everything up. So I wasn't even paying attention there. And all my little characters have gone away, which is fine. You see, nothing has stressed me out. I'm still centered and calm. And the great thing about this is that there's nothing at stake. So if I don't pay attention, nothing bad is going to happen to me. If I zone out a little bit or I daydream or I start to really relax, it doesn't matter. The only thing that can happen here is that I don't take my turn and the game doesn't progress and that's not so terrible. So my opponent is doing some very confusing kind of funky things over there which I'm not really keeping up with but I seem to be in good health so far kind of enjoying the process so it's all good we'll bring out this little man we'll give him some extra health we'll give him a little friend to reinforce him as well So, he's got rid of my character, just by playing one of his cards. And he's bringing out other things so that I can't get to him. And I think I've done quite well so far. I think the tide may be turning a little bit. Let's do that. Oh, no, let's wait. Let's do that instead. Okay. And I try and find a time every day in which I can just relax, in which I don't have to do anything, and I can just spend nurturing myself and taking care of myself. When I go out into the outside world, there's always something to do and always something to apply myself to and make an effort with. But unless I take this kind of time in activities that are simply restful and easy and enjoyable, I won't be able to do those other things. So I see this time as really, really important. And I make sure that I keep this time for myself every day. So. I'm now going to try and get rid of some of these characters that are blocking me. So that I can start to attack the big red guy in the in the window there. Because the good thing about this as well, if I don't want to play against this person here, I can just quit the game and I can find someone else to play with. So really, this is all about me and my enjoyment and that's okay. I can even click on that little chimney there, make some fire happen. Wave the flag. Tap the zeppelin. Oh, that rock might come off there if I... No, that's stuck, that's safe. Good. Okay, so he's still kind of maneuvering things around a little bit and I'm just waiting my turn here. Oh, it's a voodoo doctor like voodoo doctors. 
let's see what happens. And I do like the bright colors. I love that purple, the red here, the different colors. It's just like a kind of a feast for your eyes. So that's wonderful. Anything with these kind of bright colors I like. So I am out of good cards. So I'm going to restore some health and draw some extra cards and hopefully be able to make some improvements there. Although the way it's looking, you can see he's got six attack, six attack, two attack. That's eight and 14. He's, he's I've only got 30. So I've got no defense here at the moment. So it looks like he's going to win this one. He keeps yelling about it. So I don't think he realizes that he's pretty much won this game. Otherwise, he wouldn't need to resort to yelling. <laughs> Dragonling. I didn't catch the last bit of that name. But I like those glasses. So great. A worthless imp. Oh. It's a bit of a harsh judgment. I don't like that. Right, so now he's going after me, and I've got 15 left, and, le and unless I do something drastic, he will get rid of me now. So let's see if there's anything I can do. I can give myself a bit more health. That's not really going to make much difference. So there's not much I can do really at this point. So I can try and minimize the damage, but I'm pretty much dead. <laughs> So, it's his turn now, and he should, I think, be able to finish this. We'll see, so we've got 1 and 8 is 9, and 11, 13, 19, 25, yes, he should, he'll be able to finish this game now. And win this round, which is, which is good for him. But what he's choosing to do, he's choosing to get rid of my characters instead of just attacking the main character which is here so I think he doesn't really want to win he wants to play a little bit longer which is okay but I'm ready to move on really I think I might I might die the next turn Ah, no, there we go. Yeah, so there you go, you see? So now my character's exploded. <laughs> He's won. And now it's off to the next one. And this is the great thing about this game is that you just take your deck of cards, you repeat, and you play against someone else. So we're going to play again, find someone new. And I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel that my body is really relaxed now and at peace. My mind is calm. I find it easy to be relaxed, to sit here and just engage with this process. And I find that my mind is peaceful. And I'm just enjoying this quiet time by myself. So this time I'm playing against a druid with some horns. And again, I've got four and two and four. And these I can use really because they will be useful at the beginning of the game. And there's my chimney again. Like make some noise and some fire there. Oh, and it's my turn, so I need to get a move on. No, nope. I've only got one crystal, so I can't bring out my little, my little gnome juggler type. So I have to wait. And he's got, my opponent has a similar situation because he wasn't able to do anything either. So, I like him. He's got, I like his beard and his hair. He reminds me of George Takei from Star Trek for some reason. 
I don't know if he's short or I think I'm just going by the facial features. Okay, and let's see what's happening now. Choose one, deal three damage or do something else. And I think he's chosen to deal three damage. And he's just got rid of my character. So he didn't have a very long shelf life. And there's not much I can do at the, this stage of the game except throw some rocks with my catapult. Which is just decorative, I think. Ooh, echoing ooze. That looks nice. <laughs> and I was really surprised that this game is free to play because it seems very involved. I think the makers must have spent quite a lot of time and, and money and effort kind of investing in this game. Um, so... I was quite surprised when I saw this on my on my iPad. I'm playing it on the computer now so that I can record this for you. But it looks exactly the same on the iPad and it's free of charge. I think it's really it's really a a, a great thing. <laughs> I mean you know Right, what should I do? I can do that, or this. I don't really have any characters. I've only got kind of magic things going on. So, I will use those to reduce my opponent's attack so I don't get injured so much. And then I will bring out one of my reinforcements to help me out a little bit. And I like that blue eye. Looks very peaceful and calm. Shape shift. Right, so he's getting rid of my reinforcement, which now comes back to life. So, as you play this game, you can see that you use the same cards over and over again. My deck of cards never changes, and I repeat the process. My partner has different cards, so I don't know what he's going to be bringing to the table. But ultimately, I'm repeating the same process over and over again. And part of that is, it's just kind of accepted that this will be boring. You know, that I am doing the same thing again and again. And that's what I find so relaxing. So my opponent changes, but my strategy doesn't. And I just bring out my cards and do my thing and almost kind of hypnotically follow the path that's laid out for me. And that's what I find. It's very kind of soothing. So let's try, what should I try? Um, Yes, let me think, let me think. Um, let's try this one. Get rid of some of these weird little harvest golems. Golems? Got a case of red eye, really. Yellow eye now. And draw a card. Okay. And the one thing about this is that... Um, I think to be polite to the other players, you have to kind of take your turns quite quickly so that they don't sit there and wait too long. But really, so far, I'm just really absorbed by this. I'm engaged in the process. I'm enjoying the different images, trying to figure out how to stay alive. I'm just finding it very occupying and, and peaceful. So let's get rid of some of these. And let's bring out my violet teacher. I like her when, when I put her down, she says something quite funny. Listen. 
pay attention class. There we go. <laughs> That's optional. You don't really need to pay attention. <laughs> she just likes things her way. So I'm hoping that you're that you're enjoying the process of playing this game with me. You can see that not a lot is happening and I do kind of get these breaks to just click on the decorations around the playing field. And what's this? A spectral knight. The names are very impressive. And this is a, a very impressive card that I've got. I'm going to play this and see if that helps me in this game. Although I'm not, I don't think I'm doing very well today. A laughing sister. That's nice. It's good to laugh. Ah, oh, thank you. That's nice. So you can communicate with the other person a little bit. I think you click on the icon and some options come up to speak. But I'm not seeing those right now. Oh, and he's, he's one, you see? So I lost again. Even, even with my big um, impressive dragon, I lost again. So, I think, I think we should play another round, but this time use a different character. So these are all characters. So the druid, the paladin, the warrior, the shaman, and the mage. And I can play, I can create a deck for each one of these characters and play the different types of cards. So I think we should play a mage and it's finding an opponent again for me and see what comes up. And now I can use all the kind of um, cards that uh, a wizard gets, like Harry. <laughs> and I can see if I will now win a round. But the great thing is that I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel very relaxed. And if I ever have a kind of moment or time when I am just lying in bed and things are going through my mind, then a couple of these and those kind of thoughts melt away, especially when my mind starts to go round and round in circles and it resembles a washing machine. This can be very useful in interrupting that cycle of kind of obsessive, repetitive thoughts and just breaking them and focusing my mind on something else. So I do not agree with people who say that these kind of games don't serve any kind of a purpose and that they're a waste of time. I absolutely do not think that when used in moderation, this kind of activity is anything that is negative. Relaxing is good. Relaxing is good. Oh, and I think I'm doing a little bit better this time. I haven't been killed yet, so that's good. Oh, I think I spoke too soon. Yep, kill command. And that's got rid of my little my little worm there. But I've got another one there. So what can I do? What can I do? I've got options. I can either bring this one out or I can choose some extra cards. And I think... I'm going to bring this out. Let me just get a sip of water here. I 
I think I do need to speed up here. End my turn. Okay, so each of the cards as well, they have little qualities. So this, Timberwolf, it adds plus one attack to the other characters. So that's why this player chose that card because he obviously wanted to have that happen. And that's why I chose my card because this one gives plus one and plus one. So there are different qualities that you can go after to help you in your, in your strategy. You know, if uh, you know, if you have a strategy. And as you can see as well, they're different. This is a different environment now. I've got a little windmill over there and some Chinese lanterns, which I can click on and move and a uh, a big gong and even some flowers that we can click on. <sighs> you know, even though I'm pretending to be some kind of very buxom, voluptuous female wizard, and this person is pretending to be some type of muscled Batman, nothing bad happens here. Nothing is at all worrying or alarming, <laughs> and it's a it's a safe space. And often, I think the other thing that Blizzard have done really well here, the, and Blizzard is the creator of the game, they have limited the way you can communicate with the other people. So you can say hello. Although I haven't figured out how to do that on this version. Um, you can say hello, but you can't actually have a conversation. And that kind of keeps the theme of the game going. You can't really get into discussions about who's won or lost. And it's just, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just a fun way to spend the time. And these little watermelons, watermelons. <laughs> and I've got a carrot now. Oh, if only gardening was that easy. You add a bit of water and you get your veg, two carrots and a melon now. Right, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's see. 11 damage, I don't have enough crystals for that. I do have enough for this. So what to do? What to do? I need to add that so I can't don't get attacked. That's the first thing. Second thing is to deal some damage and to freeze the opponent and then to bring this out. Then to go after this this guy so I can try and win for once. Oh, I like that effect. It's like sparkly. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, an iron break owl. Oh, that's nice. I like owls. There's a video on Facebook at the moment about someone kind of petting and, and stroking a baby owl and the owl really enjoying that and it's one of the cutest things. Right, deal three damage to all enemy minions and freeze them. I think I need that one because he's brought out so many now that I need to get rid of some of these if I want to win this. And then I could use this to randomly deal damage and hopefully get rid of that lion. Yep, yeah, which that's done, I think. Good. And then I can attack. Oh, and I've won. There we go. So now he explodes. And I've won. 
So that's good. I think I'm going to play one more. And then I'm soon going to be ready for bed myself. Victory! Hooray! Hooray! That's great, you see, and your successes are celebrated with fireworks and cheering and victory and gold. It's not a bad thing to win. Let's play one more game then. I, I've spoken about this before, but recently I um, I went to see a family member in Austria who wasn't in a very um, who was who was a bit ill, who'd had an accident, and I went over there to help and to care and to be of assistance and usually what I have done to relax is to meditate and a type of meditation that I find very very useful is transcendental meditation but because I was in the role of a carer really I was constantly being asked to do things to be of assistance and um, I found that I would be interrupted all the time and it was during this time that I discovered um, ASMR videos which I could watch and which I could stop at any time and which gave me a huge amount of relaxation especially when you know when I was in an environment where I didn't have that time for myself and I found those videos very very helpful and that's why I'm now really pleased to be able to do these myself to not only help myself relax but hopefully help other people relax as well I um, yeah so you can choose really you can play a game like this for yourself or you can watch a video or you can do some meditation there are a lot of options out there and the good thing really is that these days um, you don't need to resort to taking medication immediately you know if you can't sleep um, I think many years ago and in, don't get me wrong in no way am I saying that in certain circumstances it's 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 wrong to take meditation uh, medication I'm not saying that at all but what I'm saying is that there are other options and it isn't the first go-to I mean I think if you go back to the 1960s for instance I think if you had a problem I think most people in the Western world had no idea about calming your mind or meditating or doing something relaxing for yourself that wasn't that you know that didn't have a tangible concrete product at the end of it and I think that these days um, it's good that we have more options and opportunities to you know unwind because everyone has stress you know it's not that um, being stressed out makes you special in any way I think everyone experiences this at some level I like her she's a sorcerer's apprentice and I think she's another gnome and that's her big sister there the sun cleric oh and that's her her cousin twice removed I'm joking I'm making that up oh and we've got another set here and this one's kind of gross we've got little spider pods Ugh. this is kind of and we've got some green gunk I think this is the Halloween the Halloween decorations and you, can, you can open and close that latch oh that's fun okay so he's got a question mark so if I had 
attack him, there's a secret that's going to happen now. And I'm going to try with one of my weaker characters because it's probably going to die. Oh, it did. Oh, it looks like I'm winning. Nice. So he's got one left now. So he's got one thing alive. And it's so annoying when they've got one. And you've almost won. And then you die. And that's happened. But he has chosen to quit. So he's given up. And that was a quick game. So I think... Um, one more is in order and this you see this is the real thing that kicks in here you get into a rhythm of playing these and you just go on and on and on and on and on and on so the good thing is to kind of start to become a little bit tired and to drop off after a while okay so I think I've played the buxom white haired mage enough now this one I haven't done properly because I haven't done enough cards, so I haven't got that. But let's play the Druid one and let's see how that goes. Let's see if um, there's any joy and any luck to be had with the muscled green man there. So they found a worthy opponent there. Now it's time, let's see who it is. Okay. So this time I'm Malfurion and this is a, a priest I'm fighting. So I don't think I've I've done that before. So I've got my cards here. Let's get rid of that because that's a six. I won't be able to use that for a while. So confirm that. Oh dear, you see, so you take a risk. Now I've got something that's nine. So I really won't be able to use that. For a long time. So. I can do that. And again, you see, some of the cards are different, but some of them are not. So. It's very. Easy to get accustomed. But. We've got an, oh, that's a beautiful card. Look at that. It's a genie and a, wow, that's beautiful. I love that. Some of the decorations, I mean, some of the colors and decorations here are really quite wonderful. So what am I doing? I'm doing that to give myself armor, to give myself attack. And then I'm going to attack that there. And end my turn. And this time we've got a little, what are these called? Griffins? Gryphons? Something? Got some hay there. A few barrels. Oh, there was something in there. Okay, so. Questing adventurer. Whenever you play a card, gain plus one, plus one. So let's do that. Give me a quest. Okay, we will. Hey, catch. And this is my favorite. If you click on this button, on this bucket, it falls down the well. See? There we go. <gasps> it's gone. There's so much satisfaction from something so little. Okay. I'm starting to get a little bit silly now, you see, because I'm relaxing myself as well. So, four swipe. Deal four damage to an enemy and one damage to all other enemies. So, I need to get rid of one of these. So, I'm going to use that. So, I'm going to swipe that one. Yes, get rid of him. And then do that. The priests are hard to play against because they can heal themselves very easily. So, it doesn't really matter if you get their points down. They, um, they can just kind of recover quite easily. So I usually lose against priests. You see, there you go, plus two. 
So he's got more strength now, more power to him. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of my favorite card there, because he keeps hitting me. I'll get rid of him. And this one is great. Look, if I click on this, I break the windows. This is kind of permitted vandalism, which is very, <laughs> very, very, very bad. Okay, what have I got? I've got that, I've got enough points for that, and I've got Claw. Give your hero plus two. Um, no, we won't do that. Let's do... Oh, you see, and I can heal myself as well, so... The Druid is quite good too. And this character has charge, which means it can attack straight away, which is nice. Yeah, so that's good. And it's got like a protective bubble. So he has to attack me once, and then again, if he wants to get rid of him, he's got like a protection around him, which is nice. And he's a very holy army kind of looking guy, who's now dead. But um, yeah, that's a good one there. Mexna. Oh, yikes. Mexna is a beast with a poison bottle there, so. Deal five damage and draw a card. Okay, I could do that. I can give him plus two. I need eight, really, to get rid of that, so. Don't know how that's gonna work, but. What to do, what to do. Yeah, let's do that, let's star fire, wow. And then a claw, let's give it a claw hit it a little bit for the wild so he's got a purpose why he's doing what he's doing which is good oh and this look at this you can turn that off poof <gasps> and this one's a good one you can you can get rid of that little shield there i don't think it ever falls okay where are we Gain an empty crystal. No, nope, we don't need that. What we need is... What do we need? Hmm. Oh, he's got more health again. I was going to get rid of it now, but I can't. Oh, well. Let's reduce it by one. Now the waiting begins. I don't like the look of that card. It looks very ominous. Don't like ominous. Oh no, you see? So now he's just restored all the health of his people. And they're all one happy family there and I've got oh let's try my big thing again didn't work very well last time let's see if it makes a difference I like how this big dragon thing has the voice of um, a kind of well nourished sounding lady who's just finished a big meal what's that Nightmare. Give a minion plus five at the start of your next turn. Destroy it. Oh dear. <gasps> He's just stolen my dragon from me, you see. So now I'm definitely going to die because all of the benefits of all of these now belong to him. Oh, but I can become a copy of it. So I can do that and I can do that and then I can destroy that you see this is where it gets very convoluted and then I can heal myself what can I do really at this stage I'm doing everything here and then I can protect myself even more 
That's great. I like it. And what do I get? I get five damage to characters. Great. Oh, so I can get rid of all of these if I survive the next round. That'd be good. I think I will survive. You see, this is quite a... Oh, no, I didn't survive. I died. Oh, oh well. I think I can... Yeah. That's what I thought. you got to be kidding me. You took all my... I don't, I don't understand how he got rid of my dragon. I missed that. You see, I'm talking too much and not paying attention. So this card... Deal five damage to all character characters except why why Sarah or something? Okay, so let's do that. Oh, and I need I just killed myself. I had six and now I've got one, so that was a bit of an error, which I didn't really <laughs> consider. But it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so I've got. 9, and he's got 7, and um, 4, which is 11, so I don't really have much chance of surviving this now. I can play with the windows. <laughs> Turn the lights off and on. Oh, so he's he's told me that I've played well, so that's nice, you see, so um, players are nice to each other, and you can kind of talk so that's good so i think i'm going to leave it there oh i've gone up a level for playing you see even though i was defeated oh no so i think i'm going to leave it there for today i hope that you found this fun and relaxing and maybe even try this game yourself it's um i mean i'm you know not getting paid or anything to promote this but I found it very relaxing or try the meditation that I spoke about um, or the um, watching videos like this but there is actually something else that I do want to mention and I love this website and I spoke about transcendental meditation before it's a meditation technique that's very very good just have a sip there it's very good but it's very expensive and there's a website that teaches a similar technique and it teaches a technique that transcendental meditation is actually based on so this is the kind of precursor to TM and the website is created by a guy called Yogani and I've never spoken to him or met him but I think he's doing a massive service by publishing that information and I'm so thrilled to have discovered it. The site is aypsite.org. So it's aypsite.org and it's got a lot of lessons on there but you just need to read the a few relevant ones to teach you the actual technique and that is really another wonderful way to relax and to unwind. So we do have options and it is really, really important to let go of worries and to calm down, to be quiet and relax and to just let go of some of concerns and have that time for yourself. I've spoken about this for the whole of this video. I think it is so, so important. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and have a look at my website to find out more about what I do. And most of what I do and most of my videos are about astrology and the tarot and numerology. And I also do these types of ASMR relaxation videos. But if you're interested in any of those topics, then have a look at my website. It's gregoryscott.com. I'm on Facebook as well, and you can send me an email. All of those details are on the website. So have a fantastic day, and I will speak to you soon.